massive update from Paradox Interactive. We finally have WASD scrolling in Hearts of Iron 4. Wow. No, actually, we actually don't. That's a big question, isn't it? Why don't we have keybinds in Hearts of Iron 4? Why? Regardless, guys, I have some good news for you. I've been informed by an amazing YouTuber how to introduce WASD, and it's flawless. It's not like a hack running in the back. It's not some kind of auto hot crease script that's complex, that's got issues. For the honest, for the most part, it's a really, really good, consistent way of getting WASD scrolling. And to be fair, if you are playing a map game, why are you not scrolling with WASD? Why? Why? Anyway, let's tell you how to do it. First of all, credit where credit's due. This fine gentleman informed me about this. The mean man let me know about this, and he's got a really good channel, so stop what you're doing right now. Subscribe to his channel. He does speed runs of Hearts of Iron 4. I know, I didn't even realize it was in the community for this, but he will speed run and do a world conquest as Mussolini in uh, a year and 10 months. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. I think there's a speed run for Germany to defeat the Allies in four months. <laughs> it's just stupid. And an insane achievement no doubt anyway the first step you need to do is you need to download microsoft power tools so this is not a hack this isn't a glitch this isn't a virus these are actually microsoft tools that you run in the back end to change some of the hard coded stuff in windows so you download this you install it and it looks something like this power tool settings network manager and then you specifically have to remap individual keys so in this case we remap a key so select the key is w okay so whenever you press w what does that key correspond to in this case w is up so you select that one press up hit okay but now whenever you press w it will hit up hit okay override continue and that means now when it's enabled so this is turned on if you turn it off you might want to actually right click on this and pin it to the bottom so that way you can click it enable and disable it when you want to but then when it's enabled you can go into Hearts of Iron 4 and do the magic of ASD scrolling. Oh, this is so good. I suppose we're not done yet, guys. We're not done yet because there are so many things in Hoi 4 that could be rebound once again. So as an example, you could go for the things you more likely click. So I'm going to say the biggest thing that I click quite often is research. So I'm actually kind of sad in a way that when I want to go for research, I can't hit W anymore because it's probably the one that you hit the most, isn't it? Because let's just say... With factories, you could just queue up an absolute ton, hold ship and queue them. And now this is actually the equivalent of like an hour of game time, this because it takes so long to finish all of these, yeah? And then the same with mills, you can queue them up to assign them later on so that you can go walk away from that. The only two that you can't walk away from are national focus is because you have to select those every 70 days or 35. And then research that are completed periodically depending on when or whatever, you know? And a bunch of the others, I suppose, kind of hit and miss. But for overall, they're the two primary ones, in my honest, humble opinion. National focus, which is Q. So my honest opinion is I want to rebind E, the international market, because I don't hit E very often. So if you think about it, my left hand is here. I'm doing Q to S scrolling. And I hit Q for my country so I can select my national focus. I don't think national focus screen itself has a hotkey. No, it doesn't. You have to click into it. But then E which in this case is bound to E, which is international market, could be rebound to research. And research is W. So what I need to do is change E and W around, right? Yeah? So we add a new key bind. Whenever I select E, I'm actually pressing W and then save. There's a part of my brain that says that wasn't right, but it, is, it has worked. It has worked. So Q, national focus, E for research. I'm gonna lie to you. This is such a small thing, but this is a massive deal for me. For someone who's played Hearts of Iron 4 for hitting 6,000 hours, none of those hours, by the way, are in the lobby screen. I'm looking at you multiplayer boyos. I know you've got 8K, 10K, but most of those are staring at a lobby screen. I know you. But for someone who plays the game a lot, put it this way, hotkeys are a big deal to me. Uh, and anything to play the game more efficiently and reduce hand movements overall is something that I'm massively for. Can you guys think of any other hotkeys in Hoi 4 that you do frequently that would really benefit from a key bind? So R for trade, T for construction, and then Y for production. And then you've got U for training. So then our national focus is since I hit Q and then I select the focus. Here's another little pro tip for you as well. If you ever want to select a focus when it, it asks you, are you sure? Your right hand is near the mouse here. You can't see it because my, my screen's bugging out. So my right hand is on my mouse. It's here, right side. 
But if you hit your, get your thumb and just hit this enter key here, watch. Boom, it's gone away. If you want to be really lightning quick, you can go boom. And then when you say, when it, has, it, it hits, are you sure I can go with the thumb that I'm using for my mouse hand? Same again here. If you go into here, then hit research. If you ever, like, say research something, then change it. It gives you a prompt. Are you sure you want to change it? So you can just hit OK. And I suppose when you go into here too, you don't have to click research. You can hit enter. You can save yourself lots of time. So boom, boom, boom. Be aware though, if you hit enter from here and then enter from this point, it will select the, the military industrial organization, non-organization. It won't select one. If you want to take it a step further, go one step behind. If you've got a Logitech mouse, mouse, well, I suppose there's other companies that do with the mouses with custom buttons. You could specifically set, let's say, your middle mouse button to a keyboard shortcut. You could say E. Then I ever hit middle mouse button. I open my research. If you've got one of those mouse with multiple buttons on them, I suppose it's kind of a waste of time to own that mouse that's got so many buttons and so many features and so expensive that you're not really taking advantage of it. It'd be kind of cool if there was an ability to click somewhere on the screen, wouldn't it? You could basically say move mouse to here and then auto click or something. Move position of mouse or something. I don't think that feature exists outside of auto hotkey. Advanced click, shift click, alt click, windows click, triple click. There's so many cool things you can do. I find this really fun. The little nerd inside me gets really excited when I look at this stuff. Hello, Dave from the future here. We've made some adjustments to the hotkeys here to make them the most optimal based on other hotkeys that get replaced with other hotkeys. Meaning, for instance, S here that I'm using is an important key because you use that to split your air wings. So for instance, here, quite often, you use S here to split the air wings. There's no S anymore because I've replaced that with pan down. So I had to go into the keyboard shortcuts and assign this to one and two. Now, one, two, three, four, and five in Hoifar are not used unless you use control groups. Do you even know what control groups are? Probably not. In that case, you don't use them. So in this case, I've replaced S with one and then G with two. So you can do the familiar acts of one to split. You can split the numbers, see like that. And simultaneously, I use G to merge quite often as well. So you've got a split here, then you press two, and that merges them up. And they're the only two hotkey conflicts that can happen with these key binds. So you can see this on screen right now. Take a screenshot of this. Boom. And these are the most up-to-date ones that I think work the most effectively. There is one caveat, though. If you do use the search function, be aware when you type something in, it'll be complete mumbo jumbo. So like, for instance, New York. Of course, we've lost the W. You want to find London? We've lost the D. So just be aware, this is one downside of this method. If you are looking to use searches and also modify like the names of divisions or the names of variants like this and say the core Africa division. And of course, that's just mumbo jumbo. Be aware if this is something you like to do. Probably these hotkeys aren't for you one of those customization kind of guys but overall this is really good for having the ability to pan and scroll and take advantage of what modern map games have guys are you excited about hotkeys as i am do you think hearts of iron 4 needs a hotkey binding manager please let me know in the comments below apart from that have a good day bye thanks for watching if you want more content click on the video on screen